Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a simple Facebook landing page for your business profile on Facebook. So you've created a Facebook, uh, you've created an image that you want to, that you want to set as your landing page. Now either you can just upload the image onto a server and s set the HTML code or we can set some links in the image so when a user does come on your page and they can if they want to click on something they can click on it and go to a relevant page. So I'm going to be using a simple uh, HTML editor. Uh, I'm going to be using Dreamweaver for this uh, demo purposes. Uh, you can use any HTML editor or you can even use um, uh, an online uh, image mapping uh, program or uh, uh, any else, anything else that you may prefer to set the code. So what we need to do first of all is to upload this image onto a server. Now if you've got a website, most likely it's hosted somewhere, so you can use that same hosting server to upload this image. Or you can use your admin control panel for your CMS platform to upload the image into your media gallery, such as WordPress, Joomla, or even the Alrace CMS platform. Okay. Once you've uploaded the image um, using either the CMS or, or an FTP program, uh, you you just make sure the image opens up in a browser so I'm just going to load up a browser and uh, open up the image so this is an image that I've uploaded onto a server now I need to add this image into the HTML editor and set the link now if you're using the image map uh, program you just need to paste the URL over here and follow the steps to create the links that you want to set on on this uh, image that you've that you've created, if you're using a, uh, an HTML editor, you need to add the image. So I'm just going to add the image into my Dreamweaver here. And I'm going to now set the links that I want using the mapping feature at the bottom and I just need to type in where I want this link to go. Now when setting the link, the key, uh, make sure that you set the links to open up in a blank browser, in a new browser, because if you let it open up in the same browser, as this is going to be an HTML using an iframe in, um, in Facebook, most likely that page that you the link that you've set will open up within the Facebook website so it may not be something that you look you are looking to achieve so if you want users to be redirected to a separate page altogether make sure it's a blank link so it opens up in a blank page so create the links that you want uh, by using either the online tool or your HTML editor and uh, once you're happy, just make sure everything's all working fine, you've got all the links set. If you're using the HTML editor, you need to update the path of the image, the image that you've created. So if i using Dreamweaver, all I need to do is change the source code to the link of the image where it's on the browser. So I just update that with the browser image. Most likely you'll come up with a blank image like this, but it's fine. The positions of all the links have been set. Now I'll go into my Facebook and I'll go to the static HTML4 pages on Facebook application. What I need to do is to install this onto one of my business Facebook pages. So if I click on install, it'll ask me to select which, which page I want this to be installed on. So if I select this one here and click on add static HTML4 pages. And uh, if it's a new install, you just click on new and uh, it'll come up with a, a page where I can paste my HTML code. Now all I do is copy the HTML code and paste it. If you're using the image mapping tool, it'll allow you to create the HTML code by clicking on, once we've done the links, so that's a link there, but this link, this button here, get your code. So once you've set, set all the links that you want in the relevant positions, you can click on um, get your code and it'll come up with a page where you can copy 
the code. So exactly the same thing here. I'll copy this code into the Facebook application and click on save. Once, once you've saved, you can click on return to Facebook page. And if you notice on the left hand side, there's a new tab which says HTML. Okay, and the image that we had it loads up within the browser. Okay, and uh, if you click on this, it'll come up with a new link. Now here, I did not open this link in a in a new blank page just to show you what I meant by the the link opening up within the browser. Okay, so if I click on HTML again, and uh, this image here, this opens up in a new a new page because that's a separate link I've set all together. So now what we want to do this this the title of this tab doesn't look very appealing, you know, HTML. So if I click on edit info or edit the page and navigate my way to apps on the left hand side and click on edit settings, it allow me to custom name my tab. So I'll just say welcome or you know company name at Facebook. What something that's more relevant. So if I click on save, click on OK and uh, go back to the page that where, where it said HTML it start, now says welcome and uh, again if I click on edit over here I can choose the position so if you've got loads of apps on this page you can maybe want this at the top you can change the order of the app how you position it so that's how you simply create a, a, a Facebook landing page so what you need to do first of all is to create an image using either your designer or your own program. Once you've got the image that you want to set on your landing page, you need to upload the image and host it onto a server which uh, we which we use our own web hosting server to upload. And uh, from the server, then you load up the image e either in a HTML program, a HTML editor or an image mapping program where you set the links that you want on the image and uh, once you've created the code you install the app HTML for Facebook pages and paste that code onto the app. Clicking, clicking on save will then create a tab on the left hand side which will display the face the image that you've created. Now, to link to this image, you can either copy the link at the top or if you click on Edit Info and again navigate to Apps and click on Link to this tab, it'll come up with a link which you can copy and set on relevant pages, maybe on your website or any other section where you want to navigate visitors to this particular page.